Welcome back. It is time to check on what is clicking in Cleveland today with our digital anchor, Stephanie Haney. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Sarah. First up, Ohio experts are now saying in the medical field that it might be more dangerous than we previously thought to reopen the state on May 1st. And that has a lot of people very nervous. We posted a Twitter poll about this on the WKYC page, and 73% of people say no, the governor should not allow businesses to reopen now, like Barbara, who says that even with struggling to pay bills, she'd rather be in debt and alive than dead. Now, that sounds morbid, but could potentially be a reality if we don't do this right. Michael Beck says we shouldn't rush and would like to see testing in place and the curve consistently trending down. This is something we have not seen yet at the state level. Dave Davidson, however, says we shouldn't live in fear and just keep up necessary safety precautions and continue to live our lives. But others still are calling Governor Mike DeWine out for what seems like a 180 reversal after he's been saying for so long that he was going to listen to the experts. But now it seems like maybe he isn't, or at least not to these experts. All right, now, if you're in the downtown area tonight and you look up in the sky, you're going to see the terminal tower is blue and green in honor of the National Council of Jewish Women in Cleveland because they're celebrating 125 years. And Hamilton Broadway star Leslie Odom Jr. was supposed to be here for their ball that got canceled, so he sent this message instead. While I am heartbroken I'm not with you today in person to celebrate, I still wanted to send this video just to be a part of the moment of wishing you and thanking you, uh, wishing you well and thanking you for 125 years of changing the lives of countless women and children and families in Cleveland. Thank you so much for what you do. The Tony winner told everyone to stay safe and be well, and he looks forward to celebrating in person very soon. Now, we don't have any word yet on the new date for the gala, but we will make sure to share that with everyone when we know. And speaking of celebrity shout outs, Cleveland Indians manager Terry Francona has apparently joined Cameo, which is a personalized shout out website. So, Sarah, according to that site, you can get your own shout out from Tito for just 75 bucks. Wow, Michael Simon's on there. They've got lots of Cavs and other Indians on there. So if you're looking for something to do and want to hear from these guys, it's a good idea. Thanks, Stephanie.